Hi, this is Christina Warren, Senior Tech Analyst at Mashable, and I am living with Lumia. So, um, i sorry for not being super consistent with my videos. I had an allergic reaction to something on Saturday and I had some things happen over the weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and, two, two, and do two videos today. Today I'm gonna cover days four, five, and six. So basically, after my battery post went up on Friday and my weekend, and then I'm gonna do a separate post for day seven. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the battery since a lot of you read that post and I've had a lot of uh, questions on Twitter and on Facebook about what battery life is like on the Lumia. I'm not going to say that all of my battery problems are solved because they're not and uh, I do still notice that it can get hot and, and the battery can decrease more quickly than I would think. However, uh, I have noticed that the battery uh, instant, the, the situation I had on Thursday has not happened again. And I spoke with Microsoft and I went ahead and what I did is I uninstalled Facebook and I uninstalled Skype and then reinstalled those apps. And uh, that may have fixed a problem that was happening with syncing where things are either uh, rebooting. I, I know that that's what some people have reported um, and there have been kind of a various sync cycles happening where maybe contacts and, and mail messages have been caught in a loop. I don't know if that was what was happening with my situation. I didn't see any of those messages. But I will say that since uninstalling and then reinstalling Skype and Facebook, I haven't had that situation where the phone is run super hot. Um, right now, and I have not used the phone significantly at all today, so it's really kind of hard to say, but I'm still at 74%, and I haven't plugged it in uh, since I left my, my house, you know, um, like 11 o'clock in the morning, and it's, it's uh, almost five now, so that's pretty good. Um, and, and I have to say that's uh, a lot more consistent to, to what I would expect. Um, from a phone like this. So good news on the battery front. Uh, if you guys, if you have any tips or you're experiencing anything good or bad, let us know in the comments. All right, so then let's uh, kind of go more into the weekend. So this is my first you know, weekend using the phone and I didn't have my iPhone at all. Um, I, I confess I did use my iPad to play Bejeweled a little bit. There is a, a Bejeweled game on the, the Lumia 920, uh, Bejeweled Live, uh, but it's not really the same thing. And so uh, when I was in bed over the weekend, I, I did play a little bit of Bejeweled on the iPad, um, but I used my phone for everything else. Um, I was ice skating last night in Bryant Park and I took some great photos, um, really kind of taking advantage of the camera. We're going to put those in the blog post today so you can kind of get an idea of what some of the low light photographs um, look like. I do have, if I have any complaints about the, the camera, um, as the other reviewers have said, you know, it's really great in low light, it's really great at night, it's like a genuinely great camera. I don't know how much I love the software, it's a little bit... In iOS, you know, you tap to focus and then you can tap again to take the image. And here it taps, it focuses, and then immediately snaps. So it's more similar to a regular camera. If you use the shutter button on the camera itself um, and, and do a half press, it, that can focus in and then take the shot. Uh, and, and that works a little bit better, but the tap to focus stuff is, is just a little bit less consistent than what I've, I've previously experienced with iOS and Android. Uh, that being said, and I think that honestly, my, my only complaint with that, I mean, that's a, that's a user issue partially, um, you know, it's, it's what you're used to, but I think that, that that might be partially responsible for why like some people, their photos might not be as good during the daytime because depending on where you tap can be kind of where it focuses in for light and, and various things like that. So you, you want to play with the camera a little bit more. But um, I have some great photos that, like I said, you know, that took over the weekend that look really good. Um, and I also have to say, you know, um, the, the best feature still, I think my favorite feature on the phone, the built-in apps and the built-in experience has to be um, the people hub and just kind of the way that it, it syncs all my contacts together and, and syncs all the profiles together seamlessly. I love that. I love being able to just tap on, you know, someone's um, you know, name and, and immediately see all of our communications with one another and, and all of our, our call history and, and I can immediately, you know, um, create, you know, a, a new message with that person and that's pretty awesome. Um, I haven't really played a lot with the People Hub stuff where you can create groups and kind of send things to individuals. Um, I did a little bit something with that but that just doesn't fit my typical workflow. But that is really cool. So. Um, you know, so far, uh, so good. Uh, I didn't really have any issues with it um, over the weekend. I would have liked to have been able to watch Hulu on it, and I talked to the Hulu team and uh, definitely passed along, you know, word that the Windows fans uh, out there want it. Um, and I'm also going to be getting a, a, a version of, of Sling Player to test for this, so I'll be able to use this with my Sling Box, which will be good. But aside from that, you know, um, I've, I've been excited just about, uh, you know, using the platform. And, and um, people who've seen the phone invariably have wanted to know more about it. Um, 
Some people think it's too big, some people think it's perfect, a lot of people think it's really pretty, but it's been the sort of phone where I've been getting a lot of compliments and a lot of uh, reactions from people about it. So that's been great. So uh, stay tuned, uh, you know, for after this article, I'm gonna do another one, kind of wrapping up my, my day seven of my first week in review, and I'll be highlighting in that video some of my favorite apps that I've discovered uh, in a week of using Windows Phone. Thanks, and uh, keep tuned into Mashable, and let us know what you think or any questions you have in the comments. Thanks, guys.